So in this video, I want to talk to you about tension, sexual tension, playing with tension, something I used to talk a lot about, haven't talked about in a while. So let's dive right in. But before I do, I want to invite you to like, subscribe and share and definitely comment in the video. We love to see those comments. So what is tension and what do I mean by that? I don't mean these boatloads are a lot of tension. A lot of guys think they're going to go out and create a lot of tension. It's going to attract women. Uh, it's going to make them better for going out and getting a job or being more successful. That's not what I mean at all. See, being good with tension is really more of a subtle art and I've never quite said it that way before, but it's a subtle art and that's what makes you interesting. Um, tension is the ability to dive deeper into the tension of the moment whenever you're working, flirting, connecting with people, getting deep, going into your emotions, even going into vulnerability has a certain amount of tension. And I'm talking about vulnerability where you're getting real with people, not this neediness. So for example, what would that look like in the world? Well, tension. For example, would look like um, if you're holding eye contact with a woman just a little too long and you feel that energy connect to your heart, you feel it connect to your stomach, you feel the whole core of your body while you're looking at the person and you look at them and you hold it and you get kind of still inside and you let that tension build a little bit, but not so much it, it blows everything out. And maybe you get bashful, maybe you get a little embarrassed and you look down a little bit and then you come back and look at her again, maybe she does. Um, another one might be voice. A lot of guys, they raise their voice up. Hey, how you doing? It's to relieve tension. Feel that. Hey, how you doing? My name is Brian. But imagine if you were to come in and you were to say something like, hi, my name is Brian. What's your name? And you slow down, you drop your voice. Oh, it could be a job interview. You're just coming in for a new job and you're like, hi, my name is Brian. And you kind of connect with the person or hi, my name is Brian. What's your name? And you really step into the tension of that moment. See, these are ways we play with tension, you know, and, and playing with tension is a really powerful thing. Tension isn't just also about using voice or eye contact. It could be holding your presence a little too long, getting a little too close to the person, standing a little long and they step back a little bit and you're like comfortable with that just a little bit, not much. Don't way overdo it. It could be about taking energy away. That's another way we play with tension. For example, if I'm looking at her and we're connecting, we're having a moment, and then I take the energy away and I look, can connect to something over there, maybe another person. And then I come back and look at her again and say, hey, what's up? And I feel that. Now that's very different than a nervous release of tension. Feel the difference here. I'm connecting, we're talking, we're having a good time. And I go like that, come back, that's nervous. That's getting rid of tension. If I'm connecting and I'm feeling the tension build between us and I'm enjoying it, then I purposely take that tension away, connect over here and come back. Now I'm really playing with some tension. That's in the old days in pickup communities, they used to call that a rock step, but sometimes that's needed. Sometimes the tension gets to be too much and you want to modulate that tension. You want to play with it, break it a little bit and then come back. And that's really powerful when you think about it. What are other ways you can play with tension? Well, there's banter. Think about banter, teasing, playful conversation. You're such a dork. And then you hold the tension in the pause for a minute. Um, you're such a goofball. Oh, you, you would say that, wouldn't you? Hold that tension and then continue on. Start talking about something else. So if I say, watch the difference here. If I say, you're such a goofball. Well, anyways, where are you from? Or I say, you're such a goofball. Anyways, where are you from? And I play with that tension a little bit and I play with it in the pause. It's really powerful when you think about it. Another one could be direct communication. You get the good eye contact, you got the good vocal tone. You lean in, create a little more tension with the lean in, a little space, and you say, you know, there's something about you. I like you. And then you back out. And then you maybe take some tension away if it was too much. And she may really love it. If you do it at the right time, when she's ready to receive that energy, it can be so powerful. So these are just some of the ways you can play with tension. Tension is such a powerful tool and it has so many different uses. And what most guys do is they try to do too much. They, they speak too fast. They say too much. They are afraid of pauses. Another great way to play with tension, long pauses to stop, wait for a minute, come back, continue on. And because they're running from tension, they're getting rambly, they're in their heads thinking, they're rushing. This is why they're not getting the girl. This is why they're not getting the job. This is why they're not getting the promotion. This is why they're not succeeding in the world. So 
learning to get comfortable with different ways of playing attention is so powerful. What are some of the ways we covered here today? We covered eye contact a little bit. We covered vocal tone. We covered playing with space. We covered banter and playful communication. We covered direct communication, you know, stopping a girl on the street, for example, and saying, hey, I like you. I just had to come over and meet you. I don't know what it is, but there's something about you. And playing with the pauses, that's another way in there, and working those pauses. And when you get really good at this stuff, every part of your life can change. Even your relationships with your friends, the people you care about, taking time to really be present with them. They so appreciate that more. And they're going to want to share with you more too. Now, I got one more tip. Tension and vulnerability. This is really magic. When you really get deep with somebody, you get vulnerable and you open your heart and you're like, there is something about you and, or maybe it's not even that, you know, there's this thing I'm going through. Maybe it's not a dating thing. There's this thing I'm going through and, and I want to share it with you. And you don't get needy about it at all. And you drop down in that tension. That can be a bonding experience, whether somebody shares with you, which a lot of people will, if you're good at this, or the, whether you share with them. So just kind of let that in. Let yourself think about that. That can be a very bonding and powerful experience. So just let that in. Let yourself think about that for a second. You know, vulnerability is a powerful tool and I'll be doing another video on vulnerability soon and the power of vulnerability in communication. Okay. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Definitely check out my previous video I did on just on the basics of the nice guy recently. Such a powerful video and such a powerful thing to learn if you want to get good with tension because the nice guy is terrible at tension. And that's what inspired me to do this one. So definitely check that out and uh, make sure to check out my ebook, The Art of Fearless Seduction. That should be up in the banner somewhere. Make sure to like, subscribe, share, and make sure to comment. I really appreciate it. And you guys are awesome. And remember, only the confident really live. And I will see you in the next video. Take care.